<laughs> this is a really quick video. I'm just done one. I just done one, uh, like, really quick one. It's, always, it's a thank you video. It's a thank you video. It's going to be really quick. The thing is, I don't know the actual name of the person. I don't know the name of it. Um, to cut a long story short, it's drill music. Because when I was hanging around with street lads, hanging around with street lads, and they listen to this music, and they it would come on once, and he, this, the MC said something over the tune, and then they skipped it. So this is what he said. It was I you know, sound like a mixed race guy, like a black guy. Come on, yeah. What the beats in the background? I serve up the brown. I bring the white man down. I serve up the brown. I bring the white man down. That's all I remember. I'm not sure. I swear it was. I swear I heard Moscow March or some shit. Moscow, Moscow. To be fair, some of the tunes was actually right. I ain't gonna lie. The bass was quite good on some of them. I'll give them that. It's just the lyrics. So that whoever they are, artists, man. Honestly, I want to thank you so much, man. Shaking your hand, man. Thank you so much for that. Because from that lyric, I just took. Are you bringing this white man down? Yeah, you're gonna bring this white man down. That's what I took from that. So. Thank you so much. Whoever that artist is, I'm gonna find. I'll try and find out in the future. I could Google it, I suppose. The lyric it might come up a bit. I heard that, and I just thought, oh, is that is going on? Is it? Oh, that is going on. Do you know what I mean? So, thanks to that guy. You know, I'm coming up to two years off heroin and crack. Thanks to that guy. Do you know what I mean? Thanks to him, really. When I looked over all the things that happened, there was, there was quite a few things. So that there's quite. A few, you just say it wasn't just that. It was quite a combination of things. Like the void, honestly, the void. I'm telling you now, I went to a void. I went to a fucking void. Yeah, I went to a void. It was horrible. There was no light at all. It was completely pitch black. There was voices there. It was like a hell. It was like fucking hell. And I heard a voice of someone that I used to know a girl. I heard her voice, and it was for a fucking split second. Honestly, but I didn't work this out for weeks. For weeks, I heard. I had, I had the experience. Basically, cut a long story short, overdosed. Over there, should have died, should have died, should have died. They didn't want to fuck my ear up and all that. I should have died, I should have died. And I went to like a void thing, honestly. But I was there, I, it must have felt like it felt like seconds, but it felt really long. Does that make sense? I can't, yeah, it's like a different time realm, honestly. And then, um, so I was in this dark place, and, and all I was this is the best way to describe it. And I've explained this before to someone I was a thought, that's all I was. But a fort, and it honestly is a Mark Twain. There's a Mark Twain thing I've seen, and he says about but a fort. I'm just but a thought. That's what he says in one of his books or whatever. Or he does some videos on here, his cartoony things. And he says, I'm just a thought. And that's what it I don't know if I got that from him or if I come up with that. But that's what it felt like. I was just a thought. It scared the fucking shit out of me. It fucking scared the shit out of me. Honestly, it scared the shit out of me. It scared the fucking shit. I can't remember if I stopped using there and then or if it happened a few weeks after. It scared the shit out of me. So cut a long story short, I was in the dark place. And all I saw, I heard voices I couldn't really, well, I couldn't, didn't recognise. And then... As I came out of it, I heard Lou, 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 like that. Lou, 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 Lou. They were like really excited. It was really excited voice. Really excited to sit to say my name, kind of thing. Like, oh, he's here. Do you know what I mean? So it felt like she. That I don't really want to say her name, but it felt like she'd been there for a long time. She'd been, you know, and she. Oh, I had knew she had. She had somebody died. So it took weeks to work it out, and then it came to me. I won't go. I'm not going to say her full name, but I say her first name. I come to me. And I thought, fucking, that was Leanne. That was Leanne. That was Leanne. The girl I used to know, I'm not going to go into details, but she did die. She killed herself. And um, yeah, it was her. It was fucking her voice. <laughs> Took me weeks. And when I honestly, when I found that, when I worked it out, I was so fucking crying. I was in the right state thinking about how shit it must have been for her. Just being there all alone. I couldn't do nothing for her. I was in and out. It was like I died for a second and then I came back. That's what it felt like. Honestly, fuck it. I don't know. And. This is where I do believe, because I do believe in guardians and all that. I thought, why didn't I see my guardian? Why did I see her? Right? Oh my, there's not just one. You do get a team. You do. People laugh at you. You get a team. Everyone does. Everyone does. Even bad people get them. You have a team of guardians looking out for you. And I thought, why didn't I see her? Why didn't I see her? She should have been there. She was del deliberately stepped out of the picture to shit me up. I reckon, honestly, that's love. Luke, that's where you're going. That's well. That's what it felt like to me. Honestly, there could have been people. I thought, why did I see God? Why did I see anything? I was going to hell. So that's what it felt like. Okay, felt like hell. That's where I was going. Punishment for doing drugs, being a cunt, being nasty, not thinking about people, being selfish, all that kind of shit. That's what it felt like to me. So it scared the shit out of me. Honestly, so it scared the shit out of me. So it's not just what I said at the beginning with that guy, like the, bring the white man down. It was a combination of the void bringing the white man down, everything all at once. The ear going deaf. The ear it really pisses me off. The worst thing about my ear, honestly, obviously the noise tonight drives you insane. The one advantage of my ear is going to sleep. Going to sleep when I finally get off to sleep. I, if I sleep on my good ear sorry if i sleep on the good ear then i can't hear nothing out of that ear so it's good don't need earplugs that's the only benefit of it the most annoying thing it happens quite a bit like my housemate he's done it it's happened twice now i've been out the front doing the garden and he shouted 
and all, I don't, I can't locate the sound. So I'm looking everywhere like a fucking twat. Do you know what I mean? Then he's in the door, and like, it took me because because honestly, if you've only got one ear, you can't lo locate sound. Honestly, you can't. It's like helicopters. If I hear a helicopter, I can hear Chinook. Sometimes I hear Chinooks in Gloucester. I do in my old house. You hear a Chinook. And I'll be looking for it and I can't find it. It takes me ages. I do find it, but it takes me ages. It's gone past. Do you know what I mean? That's the most annoying thing. That's the most annoying thing. And that's never going to come back, apparently. That's what I've been told. The hearing aid does not do that. All the hearing aid does is... I can't be honest, I don't, I don't use it. I really don't. I don't use it. I've just got used to putting my ear in. I put a good ear in. I put my ear in. I read lips as well. I do a lot of re uh, lip reading as well. I've got used to doing that. Everything amps for a reason. Honestly, it's kind of been a good thing. It's kind of, believe it or not, it's kind of been a good thing because then you have to engage with people more. Do you know what I mean? You really do. You have to really listen to people and engage. And yeah, so I'm going to shut up and I'm going to go and do some gym anyway. I've been fucking, it was a really shit day today. It's raining all day. I felt miserable all fucking day today. A really bad day. I wasn't going to do a video, but I thought I'd do a little quick one. I'm going to go and do some gym now. I forced myself to do some gym because it's really shit. Really shit. It's the weather. It doesn't help, does it? It makes you feel really shit. So I just thought I'd say all that because I'm in a bit of a dark day today. I thought I'd talk about the void a bit. So that's the best way I could describe it. It was a fucking hell. I'm telling you now, I went to a hell. But there was no fire. There was no fire. It wasn't hot. It was just dark. It was just, and it was, can, I didn't explain. It was just huge. Fucking huge. A huge. Like, I can't even begin to describe how big it was. But I couldn't see anything. But I could feel it. I could fucking feel it. It was just pure blackness. It scared the fucking shit out of me, honestly. It scared the shit out of me. So I'm quite thankful for that, believe it or not. But I did feel really bad for Leanne. So, cut a long story short, she kind of killed herself. Man. It was awful. She was kind of on the run from, from the police and stuff. She did do some naughty things as well. That's the thing. She'd done some naughty things. But the thing about that is I knew the nice Leanne as well. There was a, believe it or not, there were, a lot of people would say she was horrible. But I would say she actually was a, like a little girl inside. Little girl inside. She she was. She had a really nice moment. Really nice moment. Thoughtful. She was actually quite thoughtful at times. And also, people don't know this about her. She had a little baby that died. She had a baby that died. Like cot death, sudden death. She had a baby that died. And then she turned to drugs. She turned to drugs. She turned to drugs. She turned to drugs. The hard drugs she was on. Coping with the death of her child. And then she'd done some shit. And then she was on the run for the police. She was looking jail time. And then she hung herself. Fucking hung herself. It was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I actually found out of my mum in rehab. But my mum didn't tell me for ages. I wish she did. She didn't tell me for ages. She didn't tell me. She didn't tell me about it, obviously, because I'm in rehab and stuff, but scared the shit out of me, man. And honestly, that that guy, honestly, oh, thank you. I've been a white man, no. Check yourself out the brown. I've been a white man, down. What? I've been a white man, down. You're not know, bringing this man. You're not know, bringing me down. I want to thank you, bro, for lifting me up. Making me rise above. Above your shit. Being a white man down. Being a white man down. All that shit in it. I'm done, man, anyway. Cool. I was watching to share that while I'm in the mood.